Hey, what up, broskies? Thanks for tuning back into the channel. So this is episode four of the Wreck Opinion. So this is what we we're waiting on. These are the hoses, and you can't just buy any ordinary uh, 6AN hose. You need to buy PTFE. You can see the nylon inside of there. So the nylon is actually for uh, high pressure. This is rated at 3,000 or 27 somewhere around there but it's more than enough uh, for the power steering system so this kit actually comes with eight different uh, AN fittings this kit also brings or comes with this tool so after you put the first piece of the fitting on you can use this to round it up so it could stay in its original shape and then you just finish putting everything together. I will be showing you guys how to put this together. This is my first time doing a PTFE fitting. So you and I are both gonna learn right here, right now. I've done ordinary 6AN lines for the fuel line and the catch can and a few other things, but first time PTFE. So you're, what you're gonna need is obviously the AN hose, your fittings. I recommend using the red Loctite. This is thread sealant it it's like the normal tape one but a lot better this is in liquid form uh what else you have your angle grinder with a cutoff wheel you will need uh some type of tape i like using electrical tape it's so far it's been the best type of tape to use when cutting so let me go ahead and start measuring showing you guys how to put this together and then we could turn on the power steering for the first time Okay guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is remove the plugs off the six ANs. After that, I am going to start measuring. Let me see if I can focus. There we go. I'm going to see if I can uh, go from here to the high pressure side on the right companion. Measure, cut, and then put the fittings together and then go from there.
all right guys so right now I'm going to remove all the lines and I am going to reinstall them but for the final installation I'm gonna be using the Loctite thread sealer the red one which is I believe the best one that they have so let me go ahead and start putting these on the thread putting this back together put the return and then go to AutoZone and buy some power steering fluid. All right guys, so everything is hooked up. I finished the lines on the oil cooler. Let me grab the light. So there's the lines. It goes through there, comes out. So the lines right here, they're still gonna get attached to the chassis. It's just, I don't have the proper equipment right now for the mounting, but I am gonna put them right here. That's probably till tomorrow. So right now I have my nephew. He's gonna he's bleeding the system right now. Obviously it's off. The whole system is dry. But once we feel like there's no more air, we're gonna go ahead and turn it on and then bleed it with it on. Only a little bit of force. It's not turning. Mm -hmm. I push it. Hell yeah, baby girl, we got power steering. Now I just gotta figure out where's the center of it. Bro. Fucking Kool-Aid smile right there. Huh? Fucking Kool-Aid smile. <laughs> Alright guys, so we drove from Long Beach to Ontario and we're picking up a Toyota pickup race hub from one of my crew members. So this is my crew member's truck. I will go ahead and put a description down below for those of you that want to follow him. Check out that banner though. Shit is clean, right? Later on, we're gonna hire Jose which is Hilux Films to record us. But first I gotta fix my truck. So here's a hub that I just picked up. So it's called the race hub. It's basically two in one. It's your hub and then you remove the secondary part uh, the, from the original quick release. So you attach your top plate of the quick release to this. So basically it reduces your steering uh, distance by 50%. This is what I needed in order for me to drive my truck. Because if I drive it with the uh, OG quick release, it sits way too close to me. This is actually gonna help me out a lot. I'm gonna show you guys early in the morning how it looks like. 
but yeah this shit is dope all right guys so last night i ended up installing the race hub and honestly i love it so much better let me grab the wheel I gotta make new brackets for this. <laughs> Alright. So. Not sure if you can see or focused. Alright. It's so much better. But besides that, my front end is back on sitting real good let me open this up there we go there's the oil cooler there's a pop there are my lines But yeah, it's all back together. So hopefully next video you see will be me driving this or at least mounting the power steering lines to the chassis. But she is good to go. I actually drove her around the block. I gotta fix the headers because it's hitting the firewall. But this shit drives mint. Like it drives straight, zero vibrations. I highly recommend you guys go to stabfab.com. I'll go ahead and put the link down below right here. But I definitely recommend the kit. Even if it's not direct bolt on for the younger generation, I mean the older generation like mine, modify it. Uh, for those of you that are 89 through 95, it's complete bolt on. But again, I highly recommend you guys uh check out the kit the kit is for manual wrecking pinion or power wrecking pinion i'll go ahead and tag the owner of staff fab right here which is jake.staffab on instagram but yeah guys uh hope you guys like the video go ahead and give a like comment down below and subscribe to the channel and give me some feedback what you guys think uh about the channel or about the youtube videos that i've been doing so far and i've been trying to pull out videos uh on a daily basis which is kind of hard especially on quarantine but i'm trying uh, i really appreciate you guys and tune back onto the next video who knows what we'll be doing but there's a lot more videos to come have a nice day stay safe and stay protected Later.